Go to the layer menu and create a new layer. You need a layer to work with. So layer, new layer, and then go to the gradient tool. Just fill it with a basic gradient. You can drag across the screen, create it white to black, but I'm gonna go with a colorful design. So I'm just gonna select a swatch in the gradients category, select any of your swatches. Once you've done that, go to filters and distort and twirl. You could also apply other distortion effects. And you can change the angle and radius, and you can also move the origin point and click apply. Now I'm gonna select part of that image, elliptical marquee tool in the tools panel, drag over that central part. You can move it around. So if you wanna reposition that selection, reposition it, and then go to edit and copy, and then edit and paste. Now it's a new layer, so select and deselect, and you can see the layer there. It's a pixel layer, and you can go to the FX at the bottom, and that gives an option to turn it into 3D, as well as bevel, and also outer shadow. So you can change the radius, and that's in the 3D. And it needs to be selected, the 3D. And you can push it beyond the limit, and close. And then go to the Move tool. Now you can resize it and you can actually create some interesting three dimensional effects just by resizing it. And now you can rasterize it. You can go to layer and rasterize. Make certain you turn the preserve layer effects off and rasterize it. So the 3D effect, everything has been rasterized. Then you can go to filters, distort and twirl again. And you see by default, the twirl just creates that three dimensional effect. But what you've got, you can also change the radius, the position and angle to create interesting designs like that, sort of a spiral scroll or curl. And you can move that around, position it. But you can also apply other effects and go to effects again at the bottom of the layers panel. And again, 3D you can increase the 3D radius and create interesting designs that way. You can also go apply other filters. So filters, distort and deform. Got the panel there. I'm not going to change anything there. I'm just going to keep it 100% and rigid. But you can go add pins all the way around the edge or handles. And you can move those handles. So you can create sort of blobby effects with that design. You can also put them in the intersection as well. Just simply drag, and I would suggest alternating the dragging. So go to the next pin and then drag. Now, if you drag it too far, you'll see it becomes a blob and is dragged off, but you can just stretch it out. And you can always add additional handles if you wish. And you can drag it inwards as well and create all kinds of unique designs and you can then extend it in the next video. Please check that out. Click apply.